Well, hello, gentlemen. Well, I'm your friend, uh, Mr. J. Daniels from Tennessee. There are reports coming up that due to this lockdown, many gentlemen, individuals, are killing themselves because they cannot find alcohol. And this is a matter of serious concern for me. It pains me that these beautiful lives should lose themselves because they cannot find what they crave. So today's episode I will teach you how to make alcohol or rather ginger beer at your home. So people make it, drink it, don't kill yourself. So for that, what we will be needing is a jar. What I've taken is a plastic jar whose volume should be more than one liter. And we'll be needing 500 milliliters of filtered water. And we'll pour this water into this jar. And what we need more is two tablespoons or 28 grams of sugar, which we will we'll put it inside. Okay. And yeah. Then we will be needing inside this jar, we'll put this as you can see is smallly chopped ginger so we'll be putting two tablespoons or 22 grams of ginger in our solution well it's done <coughs> take care that your jar is made of plastic or glass and not metal, remember, because we will be producing ginger yeast inside this and yeast will react with uh, metal, which you don't want. And then we will mix it up, the ginger and sugar solution in the water, thoroughly. So that the sugar will dissolve totally. Well, the sugar has dissolved and it looks something like that. And then we will cover it <coughs> securely with two layers of napkin or if you don't have napkin you can use cloth and leave it just like this for 24 hours and remember to repeat this process for three days remember to add the same amount of ginger and the same amount of sugar for three days every 24 hours do not add any water just ginger and sugar so after three days, you can see the bubbles coming up, which means that your yeast is ready. This is called the ginger bug, and we will be using it to make our ginger beer. Remember, even if after three days the bubbles don't appear in your case, repeat the process for another the next day, four days total, or five days, until and unless the bubbles appear. Now once your <coughs> ginger bug is ready, you will take a pan and add 2 liters of water in it with 273 grams of sugar uh, if you like it sweet or 63 grams minimum if you don't like it so sweet sugar uh, and then you add uh, grated 54 grams of ginger again and bring it to a boil. 
So after you have brought your liquid <coughs> to a boil, you can lower the heat and let it simmer for five to eight minutes. Well, after the solution <coughs> has uh, been simmered, take it down and cool it down to room temperature. At room temperature means room temperature, not 76 degrees centigrade, which is not room temperature. So after cooling it down to room temperature, pass it through a sieve. And press all the beautiful juices as many as left because that is what you want. And then you add. 110 milliliters of beautiful ginger yeast that you have made, the ginger book, in the solution. And then you have to add juices of three lemons in it. Mix them up thoroughly. And after your solution, your ginger beer has been created. Just transfer the contents of this beer into two bottles and uh, secure it tightly. And just remember to keep a little bit of headroom at the top because gases will be formed and the bottle might explode. <coughs> and keep this bottle just like this for around two weeks. And after two weeks, your ginger beer will be ready. <clears throat> Remember one thing, that every day, in every 24 hours, you just uh, open the cap and let the bottle burn because gases will be formed and two weeks worth of gas might explode the bottle. So you can just keep the bottles just like this for two weeks for fermentation and burn them every 24 hours. So after two weeks, I just toss them in the fridge and let it chill. It's a cool freshness.